Hey Filmmaker Xiongli here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this simple logo reveal to make a interesting way to show your logo. So this is, uh, yeah, an end title of one of my videos. Uh, if you want to see more of that, there's a link in the description or in the title card or one of the cards at the side. So we're going to drag this image of the logo here. So it's quite big and we're going to scale it down to the size that we want it to be and like that should be fine and we're going to use the effect of basic 3d uh, so going to drag the basic 3d onto here going to hold down shift and go arrow three times to 15 frames one oh, need to go to here first so one two three I want to cut the image here because we don't want actually the entire logo to have this so it can actually render faster so what we want it to do is to rotate so we want it to swivel here so it got like a nice 3D swivel effect going on. And we want it to rotate from nine minus 90. So it disappears and we're going to toggle here. And we're going to set this to zero and move this keyframe here to the end. And now when we look at it, we see it nicely rotate in and however we want it to actually rotate in with a bezier and personally I always drag it out like this and make sure the line is horizontal and I move the key frame back and now it rotates like in a faster speed but it slows down at the end and now we can type some text so we have this going on and now type in uh, Zion Crane 2 change this color to black so that it's visible and to the font that I use is thin condensed and added this extra thickness. Move this text to the middle here, slightly sides there. Actually thought the text was a little bit smaller than it, but okay, should be okay. Move this in the middle positioning it okay should be fine and we're going to drag this there and we want it to move from out there um, one thing is we don't want to use the transform here because we can't add or we can kind of add a uh, motion blur but that'd be a little bit of an annoying way to add motion blur so we're going to add transform and we're going to turn this to by cubic change this to 180 degrees turn off this and we can now move or actually can go here press shift arrow up to go to the start here and we're going to hold down shift arrow three times to the right one two three to go to 15 frames actually cut it here and also remove that transform from the normal text and here we actually can put now a keyframe at position and we can now move the timeline further down and move this text until it starts to be behind the Xeon logo 
and move this keyframe here. Also here, change this to, and also here, change this timeline ease. And we're going to manually move it also. And move this back. Now we have it like this, but we want the text, of course, to be behind the logo. So we're going to drag this text down. So it moves behind the logo, but it actually needs to still be cropped. So we're now going to add a crop and quite easy add a crop here and when the text starts we can see here the text behind it and we just crop from the left side and that's done so we have that side the text coming out of that side and now basically the same for the text on this side it depends of course if you want to have text on both sides and we can copy this one over hold on alt and drag it up and move this text over here and change it to filmed with move this in place and pretty much do the same things cut this use transform uh, you might say why well, I'm not just copying the transform over somehow not sure why but latest edition of Premiere Pro does not allow me to copy the transform effect. Not quite sure why they did that and, and can't use uh, even copy it over with uh, paste attributes. But it's not that much of an issue. And move this behind the logo. change and now we're pretty close we just need to drag this down and also add a crop I need the crop to be on filmed with And the crop this time be on the right side. So we move it here. And the right side. That should be fine. And now when we play this, we can see text coming from behind the logo and the logo using a simple 3D. So that was a quick logo review using the swivel from the basic 3D. Hopefully you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button here below and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye bye.